weight loss here weight loss there weight loss everywhere but how do you actually do it and how do you actually get the results now weight loss is typically achieved using one of these two methods first you go all out you cut all your junk out you wake up early you exercise you eat oats you have quinoa and the whole ordeal this is what most people tend to do but this is not sustainable or you start slow you cut out some junk you add a little bit more movement you add some healthy habits and take it slow this is used by very few people but this method actually works there's a very famous concept known as the compound effect it states that little things done regularly compound into massive results because the growth tends to get exponential this theory describes a lot of things in our lives but particularly works well when it comes to our health you see our bodies are the perfect adaptation machines they can adapt to almost anything but you can't do it quickly you can't adapt quickly the adaptation takes time so when you decide to do something about your health like losing weight your motivation is going to last only for so long and in that time you should focus on making smaller sustainable changes as opposed to going on an all out sprint because this is a marathon most things with your health are a marathon what are these small changes they are changes you might not even notice all that much so for example instead of eating an entire sandwich with two slices of bread have an open face sandwich with one slice of bread half an hour before every single meal have a large glass of water take the stairs instead of the lift and instead of eating the entire packet of lays eat only half of it yes you can still have everything you like just not too much of it all those changes help you achieve the exact same thing and that is a calorie deficit as long as you eat less than you burn you're going to lose weight simple math and the math does not lie but why try this method in particular because smaller changes like these don't really bother you nearly as much as wake up early go for a run drink some protein eat some salad have some oats add quinoa you can do all that when you're motivated enough for a week but after that we all know what ends up happening the idea is simple you're basically giving yourself a fighting chance if you do choose the first method going all out The odds are stacked so wildly against you that you are basically setting yourself up for failure. Instead, if you actually create simpler doable habits, you now tilt the odds in your favor and you're actually likely to do it. And it's not like the first method does not work. Ironically, I prefer that method, but all the major changes that I have successfully made in my life, like waking up at 4:30 a.m. consistently, my better eating habits, my better reading habits, reducing my social media time have all happened by creating systems that make all of those things into habits as opposed to just brute forcing my entire way through because that usually does not work or if it works does not work that well so in the end how do you lose weight eat a little lesser than you usually do drink a little more water than you usually do eat a little more fruits than you usually do and sleep a little more and better than you usually do and you don't even have to do all of that together no just choose two or three of them but do them for a good solid month after that you can add whatever oats and quinoa and all the jazz that you want to add it's simple don't complicate it and you know another great way to lose weight subscribe to my channel it's free and that's a great price i'll see you again very soon